In this video, we'll focus on how to open a file in Slick Edit. This might seem really obvious, but it turns out that Slick Edits has several ways you can open a file. For these examples, we'll be assuming you have a project set up. If you don't have a project set up yet, you might want to watch the video titled How to Create a Project on our YouTube channel. First and most obvious is the Open button. In Slick Edit, this will prompt you to use the standard Open dialog or Smart Open. We'll choose Smart Open. Smart Open will present you with the files in the current directory like the normal open file dialog, but when you type a piece of a file name, it will match that piece with the current directory, the currently open files current directory, all the currently open files, and all the files in the workspace. There's an option to make this a prefix match. Most of these same features work on the Slick Edit command line. If you go to the Slick Edit command line by pressing Escape, or clicking at the bottom of the editor, you can type edit or simply E followed by a piece of a file name and the same matching will occur. Both Smart Open and the Slick Edit command line support file name aliases. If you aren't familiar with Slick Edit's alias facility, you might want to watch the video File Name Aliases on our YouTube channel. Of course, you can open any file in your workspace from the Projects tool window. Also, you can go to Project, Open Files from Project, or Open Files from Workspace. This actually launches the same dialog with different tabs active. If you like using this, you could actually bind the command Edit File from Project or Edit File from Workspace to a key. You might want to watch the video how to bind a key in Slick Edit if you don't know how to bind a key yet. Download your free trial today. Go to www.slickedit.com/trial.